Just these. I don't want the others. Come on, man. I slept these all the way here. There's people waiting. You know, you don't have to be so disrespectful. You've actually carried my books here. And you are? Lee Israel. Oh, we have copies of your latest work right over there. Nobody is going to pay for the writer Lee Israel right now. I'm months behind in my rent, and my cat is sick. It's four in the afternoon, and you're drunk. I'm hardly drunk. Craig, no problem. My suggestion to you is you go out there and you find another way to make a living. Recently found this delightful sign letter. Fanny Bryce, one of my favorites. I could give you 75. Oh. I could give more for better content. It's a bit bland is all. Yeah, I can definitely get a lot more for this one. I mean, the PS makes it priceless. Quite by accident, I find myself in a rather criminal position. What criminal activity could possibly involve it, except a crime of fashion, of course? I'm embellishing literary letters by prominent writers. I love his writing. Particularly clever, don't you think? Caustic wit. <laughs> this is quite something. These are wonderful. I thought so, too. Name your price. You were looking at one month's rent. What are we gonna do? Gamble? Shop? Drink? <laughs> Ms. Israel, let me have a couple of questions regarding the last letter I purchased. Uh -oh. What seems to be the problem? People are on alert. Your name's been put on a list. On a list? They're literary treasures. One of a kind. It's my writing. You're impersonating other people. Nobody's buying Lee Israel letters. There have been some forgeries going around. Do you think it's real? Looks that way. Good. You're stealing from me? Come on. Get out of my house! That's just supposed to be something more than this. We're probably looking at some time behind bars. What? I can't say that I regret any of my actions. In many ways, this has been the best time of my life. It's safe to say that Caddyshack is one of the funniest films ever made, in no small part to Bill Murray and his hilarious portrayal of the deranged groundskeeper, Carl. One of the more famous scenes of the movie is when Carl practices his golf swing on a row of flowers while narrating his own Cinderella story at the Grand Open. The entire scene was improvised on the spot by Murray, proving once again what a great comedian can do with even the barest amount of inspiration. Rob Rayner has directed some of the most famous films of the 20th century. One of those films is the mockumentary This Is Spinal Tap. Rayner and his team tried writing a script but gave up after just a few days. The entirety of the dialogue was improvised by everyone involved, so Rayner tried getting everyone credited as the writers of the film. Did you know that the lingo to go off script is a term when an actor either forgets his lines, sorry, what was it? Uh, and says something different or deliberately improvises an action or a line which isn't in the shooting script. <laughs>